Media Day features in some capacity the man we're about to talk to on the Deseret First Credit Union hotline via Zoom. His name is Steve Clark. He is the BYU tight ends coach. Steve, you need to be at the forefront of Media Day. Are you cool being the headline guest on that day? Absolutely. I'd like to say, Jason, nice shirt. Thank you. Thank you very much. Yeah, I, we, we match. Yeah, I don't know what Spencer, did, Spencer didn't get the memo. I don't know what's going on. I'm wearing my Taysom Hill leap over if, Texas shirt. It's, it's not as cool as yours, but it's still pretty cool, right? If I'm going to lead the whatever you just said, I need a new shirt. So if you guys give me a shirt, I'll be the headliner or okay. whatever. We'll hey, work on that. Up. Coach, do we, do we understand that we got you out of mowing the lawn by getting to do this interview? <laughs> I kid you not, my my wife is mowing the lawn right now <laughs> as, as we speak. You might see her go back and forth. Glaring in through I, the I windows. Can, <laughs> I can pick it up and show you. I, I'm not lying. She said, it's time to mow the lawn. I said, i got to be on Sports Nation so with Spencer and Jason. And so I said, it, you might as well get out there and uh, get on it. Because this is going to last a pretty long time. Yeah, how long do you need this interview to go? Yeah, how long do you need us to go? Let me see where she is right now. (laughs) About a half hour. All right. Very good. Just even if the interview ends, just pretend that you're still in front of the computer talking to us. Okay? Well, I do that anyway. (laughs) Steve Clark, BYU Tight Ends Coach, with us on BYU Sports Nation. We're obviously very excited about what you bring back in this group. And... You know, from the outside perspective, it's hard not to say, wow, Matt Bushman and what he brings back, top five tight end in the country, according to most national experts. And you bring in a guy like Isaac Rex. I mean, we could spend we could spend the next 30 minutes literally breaking down each and every one of your tight ends and how great they are, Steve. But as a group, what makes you most excited about what they're capable of in 2020? As a group, well, they're they're talented. Um, they're talented. They as a group, they bring different dynamics to uh, what we need. They're different. They're different players that bring their different strengths. Um, so, you know, and I've had big group. I have ten guys right now with the fullbacks concluded. Um, a few years ago, I had Matt Bushman and Dallin Holker. That was it. And so, I'm excited to have that many guys and and uh, and and be able to work with different pieces i guess is, is what you'd call it um and and so that's that's exciting i didn't know matt was coming back is is that oh, no do, one ever asked me about that <laughs> do, do you want him back would you like him back absolutely not <laughs> no um thrilled that, that matt came back and i have a different relationship with matt um you know he's a four-year starter now he'll be a four-year starter and and i'm, I'm more i more collaborate with matt um, on how to do things. Um, and, and we work together because he, he knows it so well now. Um, and that's kind of the, the difference in the, in the tight end room is we have him who Matt, who is very experienced. And then we have a lot of guys that don't have a lot of experience. So I kind of collaborate with Matt. Then I dictate to the other guys. So, um, it's a lot of fun for me and, and it's a tough position it's it's so much fun, but it's tough because you it's the one position that you have to know uh, in detail uh, the run game, the protection game, and the pass game. And so, um, you know, that's what we're working on with these young guys: is getting up to speed um, on on the offense as as a whole. Well, and Steve, you, you mentioned the number of guys in the tight end room. And, and I know coaches that love to talk about depth, and, and finding depth is always something that you guys are searching for. And you, you mentioned the number of guys, but they're not just guys. These are talented guys that are in that room. How would you describe the depth at that position? I would describe it as very talented but inexperienced. So, um, you know, they have – they haven't played in a lot. They haven't played a full season um, other than Matt. Um, Isaac, Isaac Rex took advantage of the four game rule last year and was allowed to uh, uh, play in four games as did um, Carter Wheat. Um, So they got some experience, but you know, over, over the, the whole season, you know, things change and you have to adjust. And we, I just don't know how they'll, um, I think they'll be fine um, adapting, but I just don't know yet. So that th- there's a 
the known is the talent. The unknown is the, the experience level. And then, you know, Hank Tuipolotu comes in and he is probably, and I'm, I'm going to get grilled for saying this, but uh, from these other guys, but he could be our best man to man route runner. He and, and Carter Weed are just outstanding man to man route runners, very good shape guys. Um, so, you know, there's, and then Lane Lunt came in, who was a walk on, who was a great surprise in the, uh, in the spring, uh, to add into the mix. Mm -hmm. Isaac Rex was having the best spring of any of them, um, before it got canceled, but, uh, up into the six practices that, that we had, he was, um, he was showing that he is, he can be an elite tight end. Steve Clark, BYU tight ends coach with us on BYU Sports Nation. We're going to talk to Isaac Rex uh, a little bit later. He's a guy that technically is averaging 23 yards a catch. So uh, <laughs> it is one catch, coach. <laughs> how you get? How you going to get don't, Isaac the ball don't, more? <laughs> don't, don't don't bring that up to him. Please. <laughs> hey, will you guys do me a favor? Ask him how his cahoots are going. <laughs> we will. I, I make I make a cahoot for him, so a test each week and just I, if you guys could help me out and ask him how his are going uh that, that would be uh, that would be a big help to me it's a guarantee <laughs> at some point we will ask him about that Steve. that is that yeah. is for sure that should be your first question <laughs> okay i don't want to tell you how to do your job but People you're the, tell me how to do my job yeah, all the time. No, so no, I'm, you're, I'm you're, yeah. you're you're the one guy that we're we're okay with that. You you can tell us what to do. We're we're totally okay, okay. with that. Uh Steve, Matt Bushman is a guy that has led BYU in receiving yards in each of the last three seasons. This is pretty unprecedented territory. You said uh not too long ago you want to wear him out this season. What does that mean? How 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 are you planning on uh wearing Matt Bushman out and and what kind of results will that produce? Well, I think that, you know, we had Moroni last year and we were able to um, keep him fresh by substituting. And then, and, and we're not going to do that this year. I mean, he's, he's got, he better be in good shape because, you know, he's not going to come off the field unless it's his decision. Um, and we're going to, you know, we'll put him in different situations. Um, and, and, and when I say situations, we'll put him in different um alignments uh, we've been toying with uh, certain routes that we've uh, done a lot of uh, uh, study on oh, this past season um, that you know we I, al I always study the top five tight ends in the league and this last year I spent a lot of time watching um, Kerry Kittle and um, um, Kelsey from the, the Chiefs and see how they used their tight ends and we'll, we'll we'll use a little bit of a mixture with with those two guys okay hey george kittle and travis kelsey and travis kelsey two of the best that just happened to be in the super bowl this uh couple months ago yeah don't watch kelsey block that's that's you don't want to do that <laughs> hey but coach as a chiefs fan i was perfectly happy to see him get in the end zone and as many times as he did yeah he i mean he is unbelievable route runner um, as good as I've seen, um, at, at route running, um, Kittle is more of an overall tight end. He's a much better blocker. We're trying to kind of, uh, in, um, I don't want to say indoctrinate, but we're trying to show Matt the best of both. Um, and hopefully he can pick up on that. But, you know, the thing with Matt is, is, you know, people are going to start by stopping our offense, by stopping Matt. So he can't get frustrated um, with some of the schemes that he's going to see, he's, he's seen the last two years, he's going to see more of it next year. And so, um, you know, if they want to take away Matt, they're going to take away Matt, just like they, they can take away Kelsey at times. They can take away Kittle at times. Um, uh, but it opens up, um, it opens up the, the field for everybody else. Coach, Matt is going to play in the National Football League. If he'd gone out, you know, in the last draft, he'd have been coming up in the upcoming season. He's going to play at the next level. When you talk with scouts about him, what do they say about his pro potential? Well, they, they, what they like the most about him is his ability, his, his catch radius. He's got a huge catch radius, meaning the quarterback doesn't have to be as precise with Matt. He can go get it um, with a six-foot um, – catch radius around him, meaning he can be, the ball can be thrown in anywhere in that six, uh, 
yard catch radius and he'll come up with it. Um, he, he's very good at uh, finding creases and, and, and areas and zones. Um, that, that's what they like about him. They, they like his ability to make, make plays. He's shown to make plays. He's got great hands. Um, and, you know, they, they're always looking for a, a tight end that, that, can, that can make plays. I mean, if you can make plays in the NFL, they'll, they'll, they're looking for you. Steve, it's always great to catch up with you. Uh, stay healthy. Please send our best to your family, to your wife mowing the lawn. You are uh, always a, a bright light. Yeah, are we okay to let you go now? And uh... No, no. <laughs> she's, she's, uh, I can see her right now. It looks like, yeah, she's got about 50 more back and forth before she's done. <laughs> I really do appreciate her mowing the lawn today. That's an elite wife for sure. Um, it is. In, in all seriousness, man, you're uh, you're a bright mind in football. We appreciate the insights and uh, can't wait to talk to you as we approach media day. All right, good to see you guys. All righty, Steve, Steve Clark on the Deseret First Credit Union Hotline. Deseret First, you know why we show how.